Howdy folks. This is uh, the next to the last one of my series of older footage. Uh, I promise I'll have some uh, newer newer stuff coming up soon. So what we're looking at here is a uh, auto centering routine that I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of. I wrote this as a uh, Octoprint module. I'll put a link up to GitHub where you can see what's what's going on there. The end goal for this module is to be able to do a lot of uh, the interesting milling operations. Uh, so it goes and bounces off of the truck jaws and then it's set up to stage the piece which is you know where you saw I just kind of moved it and then set it up against the cutter and uh, then tighten it down. So here it's going through and actually doing the uh, the first of several cuts. It's going to go back and do a second pass. If you look at the, uh, if you look at what the plugin looks like, it lets you define the depth per pass and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So as here where I'm just cutting pine, you can take a really heavy cut. But if this were going into going into metal, you'd be you know talking about going thousandth thousandths at a time as opposed to going you know, half an inch at a time. So yeah, it's kind of fun. And uh, if you wanna, if you're interested in how the actual centering works, there are no force sensors on the spindle. So it actually knows when it's hitting the chuck jaws by uh, a completed circuit. So when, uh, right here you can see in the bottom of the frame, see there's a, the bolt there. Um, down at the very bottom on the uh, left hand side on the vise there there's a wire there that goes off and uh, goes to the controller and then there's another one connected to the machine itself and then you can't see it here in frame but the vise is actually isolated insulated isolated whatever from the uh, from the bed of the machine with a thin layer of plastic so there's there's no continuity between the between the vise and the machine itself so that when the cutter touches the vise it closes that circuit and tells the controller that it's at that specific point so it's a it's a fun way of doing things um kind of abusing the probing mechanism and uh yeah it it makes it you know kind of fun and easy to find centers and i'll do another demo a little later on of doing object tracing. I, I've got it working tracing square-like things. I still want to do a little bit more to get it to trace things that aren't square uh, to, I don't know, just be able to, for it to see what kind of stock it's working with, do some automation around, you know, figuring out what needs to clear out, not providing all the dimensions of the stock. Um, of course, it'll only work with, with metal stock, anything conductive, it won't work with wood. But it's still a uh, you know an interesting exercise nonetheless. So yeah, that's uh, that's about what we're looking at for today. And like I said, I should be creating some actual new content. I've got uh, the materials in to do a little more of the rust removal on the lathe, and I'm also uh, going to be playing more with the variable frequency drive. So yeah, that's what we've got for today. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.